Redneck Garage. Well, I got up early this morning. I've been out in the building here trying to pick up some stuff and clean up. But today is going to be primer day and see if we can get some of this primed and wet sanded on the bed now that we've got the fiberglass sides on. So let's take a look at what we got going on with that. Okay, so now that we're ready for the primer, we're going to use a polyester high build. Uh, I need a gun that's going to shoot it, and I can't use my regular gun, which is my Sharp FX3000, which is a 1.3 or 1.4, yours may be one or the other, which is a very small nozzle. I got a $35 Nico 2.0 gravity feed gun from Amazon, which should do great for spraying this thick old primer. I got my pneumatic paint shaker in use. I like using polyester primer because it goes on and it is very super thick and it's very high build. It hardens up well. Um, there's no thinning required. You just mix it up, put the hardener in it, and shoot it. And it, it really does build up fast and thick. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot this all over it. <laughs> Alright, not bad for the first coat of primer. It's going to take some sanding, then some more primer. You can see where I hit it with the hose. That's nice. Um, but it's looking pretty nice. And the tailgate, you can see where that body work was. It's kind of boogery. I'll get in there, sand that down, reprimer it. But that looks really, really good for the first coat of primer, that polyester. And uh, let that dry out really well and procure, wet sand it down, and uh, fix any of the spots. We'll be ready to paint this booger. For all the little imperfections, and I mean little bitty ones, uh, we want to go ahead and fix those. We're going to use a glaze or icing, some people call it. Uh, it's just a really super fine Bondo. And this is what I like to use to uh, fix those little bitty imperfections. So I've got the glaze put on. There was a couple little pinholes in the back here. We'll let those dry up, sand them out, and then this will get another coat of polyester primer as well as the tailgate. All right, so all the little minor imperfections I got sanded out, or most of them, hopefully most of them anyway, right? Um, you can see that left just a little bondo. Those were where the little holes were. Looks great. The tailgate, I sanded back out again, ready for some primer. And this side's ready for primer. So I'm going to mix up some more polyester primer, and we will throw it to this thing. So I get a lot of questions over what kind of primer am I using and all of that. I'm using polyester primer right now. Uh, high build polyester primer is kind of like if you were to take Bondo, mix it up and spray it on the side of the panel. It's very, very thick. It doesn't shrink. It gets very, very hard. It's not the best base to paint your uh, base coat clear coat. Once you get your polyester primer, block sand it down and it looks good. Then you're going to take a 2K primer uh, and spray that on and then block sand that down and then you're ready for your paint. So really kind of a two-step thing. Polyester primer is more like a bodywork type of primer and then you're going to put a 2K primer which is a high build primer but it's going to be uh, a lot thinner than the polyester and it does shrink a little bit so once it dries up you're going to block sand that down then going to be ready for your paint. We lay that in thick. It is starting to dry down. It will shrink as it goes down because it is so thick on there, but that is awesome. It will harden up like a rock. I put it on extra thick because I'm hoping this is the last time I have to prime it. We will know after we wet sand whether we're good to go or not, but it looks really good. I'm very happy. This gun for 32, 34 bucks, whatever it is, uh, actually works really well for this uh, has worked really well for this thick primer and I don't know if I'll even clean it I may just throw it away for 30 bucks <laughs> I found my nasty side panels I'm gonna have to figure out a way to mount a mounting point at the top for the side panels since since we removed that and up in the front probably have to trim it just a little bit but there they are. I found them. <laughs> a 
when the primer is put on this thick, uh, it takes a little while for it to cure out. So I'm just going to have to wait a little while for it to completely harden up. So originally, when I started noticing rust in that seam uh, on the side of the bed, I took the bed sides off on the inside and cleaned it all out, thinking, okay, there must be something water, dirt, garbage getting in there. And I had a topper on it for years and years and years, and it really didn't leak. So uh, the water wasn't getting into the bed. Truth of the matter is, it was like salt water and mud and whatever else was getting flung up underneath the bed that got up in that seam, and once that happened, there's really no way to fix that, except for fiberglass bed sides. All right, for the past couple hours, I've been working on this thing, just doing wet sanding, block sanding out the uh, polyester primer, and it hardened up well enough. Let's take a look at how it looks. Um, this is not the fun part of uh, doing body work. <laughs> this looks freaking unbelievably great, where it got block sanded out. Now, there's a couple little nicks and things in there, but we've still got the 2K primer to put on it, which will be gray. And I've been sanding on the tailgate, and it's looking good too. Having to get inside this is a pain in the butt. Alright, I've been out here getting wet. My hands are all pruney. How sad is that? <laughs> been wet sanding a lot. Uh, it looks really good. I'm going to let it dry. Then we're going to look for imperfections. Fix those. Uh, then we'll be ready to do the 2K primer. And should be uh, probably ready to paint. Alright, so it's FMBT. A friend of mine, Jerry, uh, BS Corners, got MFBT. This is FMBT, which is Fat Man Beer Time. And I uh, got most everything wet sanded. It looks really good. I'm going to let it dry. Look for imperfections. We're going to do a little spot putting on those. And then uh, we should be using the 2K primer. Get ready to paint this pig. Awesome. Keep watching to see if we can get this thing put back together. I'm David from the Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.